hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I'm sorry that I haven't made a recording for a few days, but um, I wasn't able to, but now I am. So here we are. I do try to do these daily, hence the title. I do try, but uh, sometimes circumstances come up and I wasn't very well. But I'm feeling better now. So I hope that you're well and wherever you are in the world, I hope that things are okay for you. I think it would be nice. For us to focus on a feeling. And the feeling we're going to focus on today is gratitude. And you may think, oh, what's that got to do with? What's that got to do with relaxing? What's that got to do with uh, sleeping? You know, how's, how's, how's that going to uh, reduce my stress levels? Or how's that going to, f- you know, reduce the uh, overactive mind, you know, when I'm trying to get to sleep? It could do by quite a lot, actually. Uh, I will explain myself, so don't worry. Uh, This is something that I've been thinking about the last couple of days. And I guess to start with, it's a different focus. So I'm going to talk about what I mean. But at the same time, I invite you to open yourself up. to the feelings or to that feeling, that particular feeling of what you would call gratitude. I guess another word would be appreciation. Um, In a sense... Gratitude is appreciation gained from acknowledgement, you know, of what we do have, opposed to focusing on what we don't have or the things that we don't want. So it's not about uh, false gratitude. It's not like trying to just make stuff up and to pretend to feel grateful. Because I can't be bothered with that. This is about real real stuff, real things that 
perhaps we can focus on, get in touch with, and appreciate and notice the feelings, the positive feelings that arise. Because from a stress perspective, when we f are focusing on something that we're grateful for, something that we have, then in that moment we're not focusing on what we don't have. When we're focusing on feeling grateful for something that's gone to plan, we're not focusing on something that hasn't gone to plan. When we're focusing on feeling grateful, for something that is how we want it to be. I know you're ahead of me on this one. Again, we're not focusing on those things that we don't want. Which means, in a way, we stop fighting reality. Because we can move away from that mindset of, well, things should be this way. That shouldn't be happening. This is how it should be. You know, that arguing with reality, which, first of all, gets us nowhere. And in the, in the moment, it's of no use. That doesn't mean that we can't make changes you know, and change the way things are. I mean, there's certain laws in the past, certain social restrictions for people where they've said, it shouldn't be this way. We should have equality and stuff like that. And, you know, that was arguing with reality at the time, but they made, you know, made those changes but again that takes time and we're not talking about something like that we're not talking about something that can be changed for example somebody parks their car in your favourite parking spot in the car park they shouldn't be doing that they shouldn't park their car there that should be available free for me whenever I want to use it well it's being used yeah but it shouldn't be it should they shouldn't use it it's, yeah but they are now you can go around in a circle with that but basically it's just arguing with reality and it gets nowhere it gets us nowhere other than feeling rubbish I bet millions of people over the years have ended relationships due to arguing 
with reality, trying to fight reality. My partner should be like this. My partner should do this. My partner should think like this instead of the reality. But you know, this is just a this is just a recording. The uh, subject of fighting with reality. And that's. Uh, it's possibly a book I'd be quite interested in writing. It's also one I'd be interested in reading. But that's another day. So what we need to. Well what I'd like us to do is focus on those things that are getting in your way to relax in. Those things that are getting in your way to letting go when it's time to go to sleep. Those things are getting in the way of your Allowing your mind to just slow down and slowly drift away, moving further every minute or so further in the direction of sleep. Just naturally, automatically, if that is what you want. Alternatively, and at the same time, your body can continue to feel relaxed. Whether it's, whatever the cause, it could just be through boredom, it could just be through my boring voice, blah, 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 and you know, the muscles in your body, they can't be bothered to listen, maybe sometimes they're just like, oh, there's that bloke again on that podcast, he just, all he does is go blah, 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 blah. I think I'm just going to have a little, uh, close my eyes for a little while and have a little, have a little nap. Have a little 50 winks. I said winks. It's like, oh, before you know it, you're asleep. But for those that do want to listen, I'll continue talking about this subject. And the benefit, I think, to you and to me, to all of us, in starting to realize some of the things that we can be grateful for. Because the benefits of that is the more gratitude you have, the less things to worry about. Because if you're grateful for what you have now, you're not going to be worried about tomorrow. For some reason, it's, and it's a weird one really, gratitude and worry don't seem to be able to exist in the same space. And it doesn't seem to be like an opposite thing. 
but I guess it is because with gratitude you're almost embracing reality with worrying you're pushing reality away you're distorting perhaps distorting reality to make it something that it might not be because you know we're worrying is a generally about something that hasn't happened yet so when you have and you embrace more gratitude worrying just starts to drop off almost just falls to the floor and just disappears really because you can't have both because when you've got gratitude it automatically moves forward into the future So we're going to go through a few things that you may be able to experience a feeling of gratitude for. Just a few examples. Ultimately, this is your life. You're the only one who really knows those things that have happened that have been lovely, that have been helpful. I'm going to try and think of some generic, universal situations that maybe we all may share. We could, if you allow yourself, could actually create that feeling of gratitude. And when you have the feeling of gratitude, stress melts away. It really does. It just melts away. So this isn't about positivity. Although getting in touch with things that you're grateful for is a positive thing. It's uh, something that can increase your positivity. It's a positive psychology technique, in a sense. It's uh, a, very, a very important thing in positive psychology, the field of it. So this comes from academic and scientific studies. Gratitude is actually and can be hugely beneficial to your life. Not just in reducing and maybe even eliminating altogether your stress levels, eliminating your worrying, because you, you just can't worry at the same time as focusing on what you are 
grateful for. Gratitude can come from all aspects of your life, your past, thinking, present. And sometimes it may feel false to start with in a sense of, I give you an example, feeling grateful that if you're able-bodied, that you're able-bodied. Feeling grateful that you can walk if you're able to walk. And that might seem a difficult thing to start with, it might seem a strange thing. The idea of trying to feel grateful for something that you've always had. Because some people, in order to feel grateful for their mobility and, you know, being able to walk, maybe some of the only people that can really get in touch with that is those that have had that ability to walk taken away temporarily due to injury or illness and then they get they get their their mobility back and are able to walk again. And maybe for people like that, it's easier to get in touch with feeling grateful for what you have rather than focusing on what you don't have. I mean, it doesn't have to be big things, though. doesn't have to be something huge. So let's focus on a few different things. And maybe there's something inside you that you can actually start to notice that you're grateful for. That's personal to you. And might be his actually here is something um again it's a personal but here's something I think all of us can relate to there's been a time in the past uh, an experience it might have been the place that you lived a job that you had a relationship that you were in it may have been an illness even a period of time uh, could have been all kinds of things but you're not there anymore you're here you got through that you're not living there anymore you're living somewhere new you're not doing that job anymore you're doing something different you're not in that relationship. You're not going through that illness. So there's going to be probably quite a few things in the past. That when you think about it. That you really wouldn't want to go through that again. You wouldn't want to be living in that apartment. 
or being in that relationship maybe it's a toxic relationship or maybe um could be anything a job and you you're not there anymore you're here you survived that and you're never going to go back to that perhaps it's up to you of course but perhaps you can allow yourself to get in touch with the feelings of gratitude for you for now just for this moment just for not being there but to be here for not having to go through that and it's not about focusing on that stuff it's about focusing on now Focusing on feeling grateful that you're safe. Feeling grateful that You're not fighting with reality. This is just factual. And firstly, this is how you feel. You can feel grateful by focusing on what you have. It can even be actual physical goods you know you might have a a really lovely car that you that you love a car that you absolutely love or a motorbike or a push bike or a skateboard or a scooter or a plane or a yacht um I'm trying to run out of vehicles a horse uh, cow, I don't know, a space shuttle, a fiery dragon, you know, whatever. So you might have, you know, a car that you love, and you can feel grateful for that. And maybe you already do feel grateful for it, but you weren't, you weren't in touch with the feeling connected to feeling grateful for that car or you know motorbike or whatever it might be so we could look at maybe your home and again if I'm focusing on something where uh, gratitude is not a word that you associate with those things because of some kinds of problems that's going on then we just skip forward you know it's just a case of finding something that you can experience A sense of or the feeling that feeling of gratitude when it fills your body and your mind it really does and can feel wonderful And at the 
same time. Relaxes you completely. Relaxes you deeply. feeling to grow, I mean, first of all, you just allow it to be there, it's almost as if you invite Invite gratitude into your life, into your mind, and into your heart. Maybe this can be a, an opportunity to explore. and calm mm. there's a real sense of letting go that pretty much happens naturally As you've been listening, to me, focusing on now, being grateful for this moment, that we are sharing, this moment of comfort, relaxation
quite meditative. Noticing maybe as you allowing the feelings that you may have now. Appreciation and maybe even love and just sending more of that gratitude into the future. Paving the way
counting down from ten down to one. number freeing your mind to feel more relaxed Seven. One. 